Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back and thanks for joining me. Well, my last two pieces from my two last videos are dry and I wanted to start off by showing you the dried results. So this one was my first ever swipe and I'm extremely happy with the way it turned out and how it dried. And it now is fully dry and has two coats of uh, Liquitex gloss varnish. And if you want to know how I varnish, check out video number uh, 130. I'll link it up here at the top for varnishing tips. Um, so look at that. That turned out really, really cool. And I am pleased to say it sold. So uh, to the lucky person who bought it, thank you very much and that will be shipped off to the US. All right, that's off to the good old USA. And then we have Amy's beautiful piece. And, you know, I've been reading the comments the last few days and, you know, I've been hearing about, you know, it looks like Mardi Gras, it looks like Northern Lights. Um, it's so cool because I couldn't agree more. It has dried so nicely. And this too has a uh, two coats of the gloss varnish as well. So it is done and ready to go. And I just wanted to show you guys, a lot of people ask me how I keep the back of my canvases so clean. So as you know, I always tape the back of my canvases and I've already ripped off the three sides, but I just wanted to show you guys. So this is the last side that I have yet to peel off. And it's just, it's really simple because when you put the tape on, a lot of people are like, oh, you got to buy expensive tape. Nope, this is dollar store tape, okay? I go to the dollar store and I buy green tape, I slap it on, and then I use a popsicle stick and I just push it down. You got to make sure that the edges of the tape are really pushed down onto the canvas. And when you do that, all you do is just peel it off after and you get a clean back, okay? So you don't have to go out and buy like expensive 3M tape or anything like that. You don't need it. All you gotta do is just make sure you push down the edges with a popsicle stick, okay? A lot of people also ask how or where I sign my canvases. So I have a rubber stamp and I had it specially made for me. Um, I had it done by a um, office supply store okay so I'm sure staples or anything like that does them so I have a rubber stamp and then I just take a sharpie and I just sign my name and I put the year on it that's it so that's how I do that normally if I'll have a bigger canvas and it's got the wood piece in the middle I might stamp the wood piece or sign the wood piece but typically I like to sign on the actual canvas um, because if that you know, center piece falls out or comes out or they take it out or whatever, there goes my signature, right? So I try and do it on the actual canvas. All right, so there you have it. And Amy was so, so, so thrilled with the piece that she's actually commissioned me to do another one. So I'll be doing another one. And this time it'll be metallic purple, metallic green and 24 karat gold. So those three colors and definitely Mardi Gras for sure. So I'm excited to get that done. And when I do, I'll be sure to videotape it for you guys to check it out. Moving along to today's pour. Uh, I am doing two 10 by 20 inch canvases. All right. And I am going to do half white, half black. And then we're going to do a Dutch pour and see how it turns out. Now I've added this piece of tape just for now, just so that I can layer the black down here and the white up here, just so that I can know where my center is. I would hate to pour the black and end up halfway up here and then it's not center, right? So I'm just gonna pour the black down here and then I will peel the tape off and the black will stay here. And then I will just take my white squeeze bottle and do a bead of white right next to the black and then I will take my regular paint bottle and fill out the rest. Okay, now I don't really think you guys all need to see that because that will probably take me like five, 10 minutes. 
And, you know, let's just face it, we all have better things to do. So let me put you guys on pause. I'll be right back with the finished, you know, piece with the base layer on. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I got to say, it's a lot more difficult than you think to keep that a straight line. So it is what it is. It's going to get covered anyway. So it was centered completely when I peeled the tape off. But as the paint's flowing, it's moving. But that's okay. I'm going to get started before it continues to move anymore. So the colors I'm going to be using tonight are Prussian Blue by um, Grumbacher. Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Then we have a greenish blue by Amsterdam, metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft, and as my other final contrasting color, I'm going to use Antique Bronze by DecoArt, okay? So I'm gonna do those colors. I would debate it between the Antique Bronze and the 24 karat gold, um, and trust me, I sat and pondered that for a really long time. Um, and I guess I just ended up deciding to go with the bronze. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out because um, I've never done one like this before. Um, but we will see. And I'm definitely not going to flood the colors. So that will be interesting as well. All right, uh, and while I'm doing this, I just want to give a huge thank you to the following people who have donated to my channel, Andrea, Kathleen, Kelly, and Patty. Thank you, ladies, oh, of course. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, my Amsterdam always has some sort of clog in it. There we go. So ladies, thank you very much for the PayPal donation. It's very appreciated. You have no idea. So thank you, ladies. Uh, and then everyone, if uh, you have been watching Juno's channel, what did I just drop? Thank you very much. And if you don't know about Juno's channel, feel free to check out his YouTube channel. I have the link posted below in the description box so check out his channel i would love it if you guys subscribe and follow him there i would appreciate it oh i don't know now that i'm kind of looking at the gold i'm thinking gold i might change it let's see see look at the difference gold and bronze gold and bronze uh, I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do the gold, but I'm not going to do too much because this thing takes over a lot and it gives really, really cool cells, but I don't want it, but I also don't want it to get lost. Okay, whatever. See how fast I change my mind? So this is 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Okay, I'm going to torch everything because I didn't torch anything. So let me do that real quick. Torch all my bubbles. I can see all the bubbles popping. All right, I've got my lowly Veffy mat underneath and it is getting all messy, which drives me nuts, but it is what it is. All right, so let me get my hair dryer and, ooh, how am I gonna blow this one? This is gonna be interesting. Uh, I will go, oh boy, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, well, I better hurry because my white, it's just disappearing. It's not centering anymore. I'm not happy about this. Why is this going up so high? I'm going to need to bring this back down a bit. I don't know why it's doing that. That's not good. Something tells me this isn't going to work out the way I want. Okay. Um, I don't even know how to do this. Hmm. All right. Well, 
usually I start in the middle of us, but then I haven't even really thought about this. I'm so confused right now. Okay, well. I don't know what I was doing. I really don't know. All I do know though is this side looks stunning and this side looks like poop. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, this side looks amazing. Okay, I'm loving this side. And on this side, I've lost all my white. The All the white is gone. So, Oh, and of course, I blew the paper towel off the table, and now there's paint all over the floor. So I got to clean that up before that dries, and my husband freaks out because, of course, it missed the tarp that's on the floor. Okay, so this is great, and this is not. So we are going to have to scrape it and scrape Start again. Um, oh boy, woo, mess is coming your way. So I've lost all the white. Now this is gonna be interesting because, as you can see, the canvas is stained black now in these parts. So I'm not sure how well the white is going to cover all that black. Uh, I really wished this had turned out better. How disappointing. Okay. Oh boy, this is going to be a problem because I need to scrape off the black off the side here because if you don't, and you just try and cover it with white, it is not going to work. I'm telling you, you really have to clean it off because it, the black will come through and it will show after it's dried. And believe me, you don't want that. Okay. Oh, I really wanted that to work out really well and it did not. So that is a huge bummer, huge bummer. Well, first time, first try, and it's not gonna be perfect. You know, you gotta practice, you gotta learn, right? I had um, a lady, um, she was trying to do the Shelly technique and she was getting so frustrated and she said, oh, that's it, I give up. I'm not doing this anymore, I can't do it. You know, I've wasted so much time. I've tried six times, I've been at it for uh, like three or four days and I can't get it. And I said, that's it, three or four days? And you tried six times? It took me three weeks to get the Shelly technique down. And it took me, about 50 tries to figure it out and uh, hundreds and dollars wor worth of paint to figure it out. So if you're only gonna try something three or four times and then give up and get frustrated with it, this art is not for you because it takes practice, guys. It takes practice, it takes learning, it takes all kinds. And if you think it's going to happen overnight, you just, you got another thing coming because <laughs> that's not going to happen. Like, I mean, when I first started pouring a year ago, guys, trust me, if you saw the beginnings of my pieces and what my stuff looked like, I would be embarrassed. But 
you have to start somewhere, right? You got to start somewhere and that's how you learn. I didn't do all this overnight. I've been at it for a long time. I may have started my YouTube channel in February, but I was pouring way before that. Okay, let me get to this before my white starts moving again. Let me pop these bubbles in the white. Okay, <clears throat> let's do this again. Uh, I can't get over this one. This one's beautiful. I'm, I'm loving that. So let's just do this real quick. And hopefully I can blow this one out better and keep more of the uh, white. And a little bit of this. There we go. Okay. Let me just pop those real quick. Let's try that again. <clears throat> Sorry. And I'm going to um, blow. Uh, I don't want the black going into the white. That's kind of what happened, right? So I'm going to try and aim it and hit the exact line and just blow that way without getting any of the black in the way. Let's try that now. There is so much black paint. I'm trying to push it off the sides. All right, I'm just gonna, wow, there's a lot of paint on there, guys. So much paint on there. Why did this one come out so perfectly and this one I can't get it right? How frustrating. I can't get it right. There's way too much paint on here. Ah. Uh, I'm not happy and if I'm not happy we're gonna have a problem uh bye bye I'm gonna run out of paint at some point I am um I can't even reach over there that's my problem Come on. Uh, I wanted this to be a quick pour with a quick video. And it's not turning out the way I wanted. Okay, so what to do now? Um, let's see. Okay. Okay. So I'm liking this part now, finally. Now I need to fix this. But this here is actually super, super pretty. But what I want is to get some more color down here because it's all down here and I kind of want it to match, right? So I am going to keep working at it and not the dark. I think I'm gonna add some of the iridescent green 
just want to see what would happen if I did that and then just blew it. Nothing. Because <laughs> I just blew the black right over it. Uh, I need to fix that. I want more color down here. Um, so let's try a bead like that. And I will do a bead like that. Oh, sounds like daddy's home. It is the afternoon. Typically I pour at night, but I had some time and I decided to pour in the afternoon. So let's do a little bit of that. And I know I missed a color and I just don't know which one I missed. Uh, the green blue. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, let's try that again. I'm going to blow it down because there's a lot of black in here. So let's just blow it down. That 24 karat gold does some serious cell action and that's actually really cool. And now I'm happier, okay? I'm, now I'm happier. So let's blow some of that over the edge. Oh, I'm so glad I decided to go with the 24 karat gold instead of the bronze. It's so pretty. Just trying to blow some excess black paint off. Okay, um, I'm going to put them together to show you guys a close up, but then I have to literally um, fix this edge here because it's um, got blue on it and it doesn't belong there. So I need to fix that. And then, and then I'll work on the rest of the edges, but let me bring it together um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like because now I'm happy with it. Okay, and I'm not gonna torch it either because I don't like torching it anymore. So let me bring you guys down. I'm actually really happy with now this result and I'm so glad I added that 24 karat gold. Okay, so check, let me do that as usual because it's in the way. I hope you can see this, but check out what the 24 karat gold does. I'm really liking that stuff. And then that right there, that looks really neat. So, and now they match right here, they match, which is nice. So that's why I gotta get rid of this here um, to make it white. So I'll do that off camera because you guys really don't need to see that. Let's see if I can get a good close up for you guys without lights and reflections and all kinds of fun stuff. So there you have it. I'm actually happy with it. And it, with a little work, a little, a lot of work, I got it to work the way I wanted it to. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm loving the turquoise and the green blue and that gold just shimmers. I'm really liking that a lot so let me know what you guys think in the comments please subscribe if you are new to my channel please give it a thumbs up if you like it hit that notification bell guys that way you're notified every time a new video is posted on my channel let me move this back because i can see my camera is doing some funky stuff with the lighting so uh that's it and then all my social media links are listed below in the description box um, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, my Amazon shops for anyone who wants to buy acrylic pouring supplies and all that stuff that is also listed below and my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to my channel. It helps me buy materials, helps me do these videos and that is all for now guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing how things don't always work out 
and that you gotta work hard to fix them because your first pour is never always gonna be perfect. You gotta work at it sometimes, right? So that's it. Let me know what you guys think. This will be available for purchase, so if you're interested in buying it, you know what to do. Shoot me an email, guys, and it could be yours. Take care. Have a good day, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye.